Kevin's right, Chandler's wrong. That's what you better say if you want to stay off New England Reptiles hit list. Most people would say 2022 was the year of COVID. Well, if you're in the reptile hobby, it was the year of the attack videos. Major things have happened while I was working on the video. The major one being Chandler is anti-US ARC. After this Donnie, your voice is annoying. And it makes me mad that you guys have decided to go after Chandler. And this isn't the only cool attack videos that you guys have made. You guys have attacked Jay Brewer, Chandler's Wildlife, Catch 'em All Fishing, me, and countless other content creators. Now, guys, I don't have to remind you, USARC is currently fighting for the reptile hobby, which makes me wonder does the hobby need unity right now or division? It reminds me of the old saying United we stand. Divided we fall. Now, Donnie, I get it. You're great at editing videos, but you have really changed the direction nerd is going in. They used to make great educational content. Now all you guys make is hit pieces. Now, Kevin, you have a lot of knowledge. No one can take that away from you. But you're like 65 or 70, so I'm kind of confused. Why do I have to explain to you that you can disagree with someone and not attack them? The reptile hobby is not universal. We all do things differently. Some people use tubs. Some people use enclosures. You have the non-venomous community. You have the venomous community. You have the people that like frozen thawed. You have the people that like live feedings. No one has to do everything exactly how you do them at Nerd. We are not your employees. So I strongly urge you, Kevin, get back to making educational content. As a matter of fact, let me show you what some of your YouTube subscribers think about your hit pieces. Kevin, you can't preach unity and division at the same time. Don't get me wrong. I know these hit pieces, they make great money. You get a ton of views and a ton of subscribers. But is it worth it? How about we put our disagreements to the side and do what's best for the hobby? Let's get behind you, Sark. Let's help them protect our rights. Right now, the hobby needs unity, unity, unity. And I'm going to be honest with you, Kevin. I seen that Instagram live where you challenged Chandler's wildlife to a fight. Wheelchair, crutches. I think he'd still be able to take you. You should be careful. Now, Donnie, you get paid to make videos for Kevin and you do a great job. So I have a homework assignment for you. I want you to do a deep dive on the FWC, then do a deep dive on PETA. And tell me if you can find videos online of them fighting amongst themselves. And if you do, I'll buy you lunch. I don't think you will, though. PETA and the FWC have a pretty united front. I've never seen PETA attack PETA, and I've never seen the FWC attack the FWC. So why is the reptile community attacking the reptile community? It doesn't make sense. And before I end this video, Kevin... I'm going to urge you one last time, stop with the hit pieces. It's not a good look. Let's get back to customer service. As a matter of fact, let's satisfy this customer.